It's now time for me to connect my receiver to my ASTM add-on. I'm going to configure my receiver and my remote control to a dedicated channel. If I don't do this, it will not work. The receiver and the remote control are not included in the ASTM Professional Kit. I'm now going to grab my receiver and connect it to my add-on by removing the rubber band, sitting the receiver right on top, connecting the rubber band again to hold it in place. I'm now going to grab my receiver cable, make sure I put it into the correct channel at the correct orientation with the cable pointing down like this. I'm now going to grab my antenna and put it inside the antenna holder on the other side, like this. Now it's time for us to put our ASTM add-on on our Phantom. First thing we'll do is grab our ASTM placement tool. Open it like this. Again, there's only one correct way to put on the placement tool. Pay attention to the battery symbol and make sure that's placed over the battery. The front side should be pointing towards the front. You'll note that there's a section on the side with a portion to fold down. There, you'll fold it down after laying the drone down. You'll grab your dual lock placement stamp, remove the back to expose the adhesive, lay it in between the two black lines of the placement tool like this. Again, there's only one correct way to put it, so make sure you pay attention. Once you've stuck the placement stamp onto the drone, you can lift up the placement tool. And now it's time for me to put on my Safe Air Phantom. Once you've installed your Safe Air Phantom, now it's time to put on the ASTM add-on. Grab the ASTM add-on at a 45 degree angle, connect it to the dual lock placement stamp. Once you feel that it's on firmly and tight, now you grab the ASTM cable and connect it to the ASTM port on your Safe Air Phantom, like this. Now that we've finished with that, we're gonna put the propellers back on. Once you've replaced all four propellers, make sure that all of them can spin unobstructed by the ASTM add-on or the Safe Air Phantom. Now it's time to put on the safety sticker. Important to note that once you've configured your system to work with a receiver, it needs to always fly with the receiver, and if the receiver or the remote is not connected or not turned on, the system will not function properly. Additionally, at flight, it will beep when it is armed, and at descent, it'll beep twice for disarm. Regardless, when the system lands, we suggest turning off your Safe Air Phantom.